guys! I am so excited to share this new tool I just discovered for creating consistent characters. Are you seeing this? This is the first character I created, Clara, and I was really doing my best to test the limits of what's possible here. The only thing I found, as the super nitpicky person I am, was a tiny inconsistency in the embroidery pattern on her coat, which is super simple to get rid of. I use Photoshop, but there's a way to easily erase little details like this right inside this platform, and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Design did fantastic with my animal characters, too. This story has four different characters, and practically all of these images are spot on. And this tool is free with limited features, including playing with the preset consistent characters. But full disclosure, if you're going to want to create your own custom characters, you'll have to purchase a paid plan, specifically the creator plan, which is about the same amount I'm paying for my ChatGPT Plus plan. Spoiler alert, Design's dedicated consistent character dashboard is way more consistent than my previous workflow using custom GPTs to finesse Dolly 3. It's a lot easier to use, too, so in my opinion, it's totally worth the cost. But make sure you watch until the end, because I'm going to share four ways you can save even more money using this tool. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. First, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate a character description for me, so you don't have to wait for me to figure out all the nitty-gritty details of what our character should look like. Wow. Chat gave me a lot of detail here, so I think this is the perfect character to create with you today. I'm just going to copy this description and bring it into design. I'm in my dashboard, and I'm going to start a new project. I'll name it Jaden's Character. So the first step in creating a consistent character is to generate a character sheet. So click Character Sheet. Then I'm going to select a style. The 3D styles are my favorite, but you can see there are tons of styles to choose from. I'm going to go with Cozy 3D. I'll paste my description in the text box, and then I'll click Generate. I've got about 2,300 credits left out of 3,000, and on the Creator Plan, you actually get unlimited generations. These credits are just fast queue credits. And for context, I've done two full stories with a total of five consistent characters so far. So for me, this is more than enough credits to get me through the month creating two to four stories. Okay, so while that's generating, I just want to go over why this character might be a challenge for any AI tool to create consistently. We've got the basketball design on his hoodie, the stripes down his pants, and this woven bracelet is yet another detail we'll want to keep consistent, especially if it's important to the plot of our story. Great, so we've got two options here, and I think I like this one overall, so I'm just going to double-click to get this character sheet into my canvas. Up at the top right, I'm going to click Layers to get to that canvas. I'll click the three dots here, and then select Duplicate. And I'm going to do that one more time, so I have three layers total. Now I'm going to crop each layer so that we end up with three separate images of each pose. It'll help to deselect these checkboxes on the right to see only the layer you're working on. Then I just click the layer, click the Crop tool up at the top, and crop. Hit the Done button at the top. Now, as I repeat that on the other two layers, take a look at the toolbar. If it's grayed out, that's because you forgot to select a layer. Okay, now you can see that we have three separate images of each angle. Now we've just got to upscale and download each layer. Click the three dots again and select Save as Image. I'll go with 2x and click Upscale. This automatically brings you back to the results page, so just click layers at the top again and repeat the process for the other two layers. Now that I've downloaded my image, it's time to make our consistent character. 
head on over to the bottom left to find the character button. And once we click in there, I'm going to select consistent character. Then I click choose a character, new character, and then all I have to do is upload those images I just downloaded. It always says the wait time is between 30 to 40 minutes, but for me, it's usually faster than that. But it does take at least a few minutes, so go grab a coffee or something while design is working its magic. Okay, I've skipped ahead and it's been 20 minutes. And now our Jaden character is ready to use. So let's give this consistent character tool a whirl. I've had ChatGPT give me a few prompts for various scenes we can try out, so I'll just copy and paste the first one. Take a look here. When you use these consistent characters, there's a default prompt that's been created for you. For now, we'll just leave that alone, but you can edit this for different results, as this little pop-up here is telling us. So these results aren't too bad. It definitely looks like our character, but like I already expected, it's having trouble with the basketball design we specified on the hoodie. Our prompt also asked for a gap in his teeth, which I don't see, but overall, everything else looks perfect. The background looks a little too realistic to me, so I'm going to try adding 3D animation to my prompt. Let's regenerate that. And it looks like the fast queue is kind of busy today. I don't usually have any wait times, but it's about 4 p.m. on a Friday, so maybe that has something to do with it. And look, the basketball came through in this shot. These look decent, but it must be the lighting that's making the background look too real to me. Okay, well, let's move on to our next prompt and see what else we can get. Copy, paste, generate. That looks pretty awesome if you ask me. I love these images. Yeah, they look pretty good. Okay, I have no criticism for these. Let's try another prompt. And these look a little awkward. He's supposed to be tying his shoes, but I don't see any laces. If I were using this for a story, I might either try to add the laces in or crop this image so we just see that he's crouched down. Okay, I'm out of chat GPT prompts, but I want to try something else here. I'm going to adjust this default prompt a bit. I'm adding basketball decal back into the description of his hoodie, and also the specifics about his tracksuit. Let's see if we can get an image of Jaden snowboarding and looking angry. There we go. He definitely looks mad, and we got the basketball back on both of these images. Nice. Now, if he were snowboarding, I might actually want to change his outfit a bit. So let's create another image to see how this kind of scenario could work. Let's do a beach scene with Jaden in just basketball shorts. I want them to be in the same style as his normal tracksuit pants. Basically, it's a baggy bathing suit look I'm going for. So let's see what happens here. Okay, well, it's on the right track, but I forgot to add in 3D animation again, so we got a realistic photo of Jaden. Let's try that again. There, that's a lot better. But it looks like I definitely confused the algorithm by saying basketball shorts and then asking for a volleyball. So this is like some weird basketball-volleyball combo, but that's okay. That gives me a perfect opportunity to test out some editing features here in design. So let me show you how to quickly erase anything you don't want in your image. I'm just gonna go up here to AI Eraser and I'm gonna circle this weird ball. The results show up over here, and you just hover over all of them to see which one works best. I'm going to go with this one. I just got to make sure to double click to add my selection to the canvas. Now I want to create a volleyball, 
so I'm going to head on over to Local Edit. It's a bit confusing because it seems like you would want to click on Insert Object, but you need to upload a reference image to use that tool. So Local Edit is where you can simply create objects with a text to image prompt. So let's make our volleyball. I like these options, but I wasn't specific enough in my prompt. As you might be able to notice when I zoom in, there's a shadow underneath all of these balls that makes them look like they're on the ground rather than flying through the air. I tried to go in and erase the shadow underneath, but it still looked weird. So instead, I decided to edit my prompt. We can head back over to the layers section again to revert back to any editing step we've done so far. So I'm going to go back to where I erased the basketball. <laughs> See what I did there? And I'm going to edit my prompt to specify that we want a volleyball flying through the air. And that's definitely more like what I was going for. I'll select this ball. There are just a couple more quick things I want to show you before I give you all the deets on how you can save a bunch of money on your subscription. If you ever want to start from scratch, you can always come over here to this little button, and this will reset the starting prompt design created for your consistent character. But of course, if you want to reset to one of your edited prompts, well, that's where this little info button over here comes in. You can see your prompt from any image you generated in your project, and just click on copy to save it to your clipboard. Then come back over here, paste it in, and then edit the rest of the prompt. So I'm doing that here because I want to get back to Jaden's clothing as I edited them. Now I'm going to change my beach setting to a night scene. And yeah, I'm really digging this result. So there you have it. Easy peasy consistent characters. Now, as you may have seen before, this tool is $19.99 per month to access the custom consistent characters which is about the same as a ChatGPT Plus subscription if you want to fiddle with Dolly 3. But there are actually a few ways that you can save a few bucks on your subscription. So the most obvious way is purchasing the annual subscription, and that's what I'm going to do to save myself $4 a month. That's more than two months for free. Not only that, but when you get the annual subscription, you also get an extra 1,000 FastQ credits. And then you'll definitely never run out of credits, even if you use this tool day and night. I didn't realize this at first, but the creator plan is actually unlimited. Even after your credits run out, you can still generate images. You just get them a little slower than usual. Even so, I doubt you'll run out of credits anyway. That's just an FYI, so you don't have to worry about how many credits you get. Now, the second way you can save the big bucks on design is if you're a student or a teacher. So if you are, make sure you purchase your subscription with your official .edu email address to get a whopping 70% off applied automatically at checkout. You can save even more money if you have a social media following and you're willing to share how you use design. That's the third way you can save money. They've got a creator's fund to pay for how many views you get. You can get paid in cash prizes and free subscriptions. And I just learned there's actually a fourth way to earn credits, too. You can get up to 2,000 free credits by referring your friends. Anyway, if none of these options work for you, there's still a seven-day free trial. And I recommend you give the creator tier a try. As a matter of fact, I'm still on my free trial as I'm recording this video. Definitely give it a try. As usual, all the links to all I've mentioned are in the description below. I've got so many ideas for how I can use design in the future that I don't even know where to start. Are there any features you saw on the dashboard throughout this tutorial that you'd like me to test out next? If so, let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, now that you know how to create consistent characters, you might be interested in how you can animate those characters with lip syncing perfection. I cover that in this AI video tutorial right here.